welcome back. It's Balemore with more Blind Gaming playing Dishonored for you guys. For the PC, of course, and it looks like we're on the final part, I think. <laughs> we will see. So without further ado, let's do this. I can't move. All the way to the top. And that's where the last guy is. I think it's the Lord Region. is going to be loaded. It's the final, final area. And it's very well lit. Burroughs Lighthouse. How convenient. Or will it be inconvenient? Oh god. I don't see anybody nearby. Ugh, I don't trust anything. We're almost to the tip of the top. Why do we need money? I think we're done, you know, with, uh, ooh, I could use mana. I think, I thought we were done with everything. I'll take some more bullets. speaker. Yeah, oh, I take it this is where Emily was 
kept. I'm surprised um, he even kept her semi-comfortable. I thought they were supposed to take over the Empire, not... Uh, I mean, they just hid here and fought each other. I'm kind of glad that's how it worked out, but... Emily's not down here. He knows I'm coming. He's got to be up there with her, threatening to drop her off or something. Just so he can kill me. You know what we're going to do? Because my rats will kill Emily. I don't want... It's happening right there. I bet right there. You've done such things, cowardly things, and I'm ashamed of. How could anyone ever forgive us? Would they? Even if things are better? No, no, that's not how it works. Once the bureaucrats step in, everything gets muddy. If anyone ever knew, we'd all lose our heads for this. So no one can know. And could we ever control Emily with Corvo around? That's the question that sticks in my mind. We need to make our final move. We need to make it cleanly. No loose ends. Only a few in the know. The ones with the most to lose. All right. Oh, that's a big journal entry. I'm pausing long enough for you guys if you want to hit pause and read this. I love reading this story. And I've actually enjoyed it as I edited the videos to, um stay in touch. Why are we getting money still? Do we carry this over with us? See anything there? How fancy. Oh my god, that was the best assassination. That was almost, a, or the uh, the Lord Regent, the original one, the former spy master that dishonored me, or whatever you want to call it. That was a gruesome death, but this one was even better. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, I'm geeking. That was cool. What will history tell us? That the daughter of a murdered empress ascended the throne up a mountain of corpses, carried by an assassin named Corvo? No. They'll say that little Emily Caldwin I came to power in an age of terror and corruption, and that she did her best in a world that is not kind to little girls or empresses. This was such a good game. It's cool watching all this. But whether the stories told mention you by name or not, she will remember you were there, Corvo. For all of the big and the 
small Well, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that game. That was... That was good. And this uh, final episode is definitely shorter than any of the other ones, but uh, I had a blast. That was a really cool ending. And that... Ben time spells sick. That was just the uh, beginning level of it. I needed one more rune to cap that out. I wish... You know, one thing about I can say about this game... Unless you can recalibrate your runes, you know, reset them and assign them again. Um, I wish they gave you the ability to capture runes to, you know, um, enhance all of your abilities. And not at the, at the very last board, like maybe the mission before to be able to finally get the last rune. That would have been cool where I could have played with everything. But, um, hey, it was still super fun. I can't wait to play Dishonored 2 should be good it should be really good i i've got high hopes for it and it's going to have better graphics you know more of the up with the times this game's kind of old i'll have to look at when it came out but uh it's, it's at least been out um several years ago so let me know what you guys think leave the comments below i think like i do on all my series at the beginning and i try to let you know what the channel's about if you're new just watching um, Balamor is a handle name I've always gone by. I think it started in World of Warcraft days. And, uh, you know, all my friends call me Balamor. Not in real life, of course. Um, and, my, well, I'll, I'll say it. I think a couple of videos have shown it. My real name is actually Skylar. It's, a, it's a weird name. I like it because I've always grown up with it. But, uh, it's not spelt like it's usually the S-C-H. It's just like it sounds, S-K-Y. Um... But there's a little about me. I haven't shared a lot about myself since I started the channel for a while now. Um, but a little bit. I have definitely I've been open with the blind gaming part. It's not just playing games blind, never played them before kind of thing. Like Dishonored would be one of those games, playing it blind. But blind gaming is really for my um, retinal degeneration I have. I was born with a genetic deformity called Stark Arts. But I got a super rare case of it. It's rare enough anyways. But uh, I didn't get it until my mid... Well, 24. So yeah, my mid-20s. And it affects your central vision. So I'm not blind in the sense black. Everything's all dark. But my central vision's really, really messed up. It's pretty severe. So um, when I play games, it's on a much higher level of difficulty for me than, you know, just anybody. I can't read the stuff quickly. I have to really squint and, you know, put my face up to the monitor. But when I'm editing videos, it allows me to read. Like in this game, there's a lot of reading. So it was cool to see the story as I edited. But blind gaming does stand for my vision issue. And when I defeat a game, it's like this I can look back on it and go I feel very accomplished I really do I feel like yeah I did it I can still play games I still have fun I'm not awesome at it but I do pretty good and um, considering my blind condition uh, I I think I do very well so hopefully it's not too too brutal for you guys to watch of course you wouldn't even subscribe if that was the case but I hope you enjoy my personality and the gameplay and what I bring to it um, not a professional, not going to show you every secret because I'd have to research and all that crap. And I want to play these just like I would do it without recording. And I'm talking to myself and saying, you know what, you can eat a big dick. Go flop around in a big bag of dicks because that's what I would be saying anyways. So hooray, we have plenty of stuff. You guys can check out the playlist tab. There should be plenty of stuff for everybody. I do full gameplay walkthroughs. I don't do partials. I don't like partials. I don't like it when people do that, but um, actually some of my channels I subscribe to, which aren't many, uh, they don't finish their games either, unless they're really short. And the reason I do full gameplay is because I want to enjoy the entire content of the game. And also, I want you to, whatever you're looking for, be able to check that out. So, um, if you guys ever want to leave a comment about my blindness, if you have any questions, uh, troll away if you want to. It really won't hurt my feelings. 
but if you have any questions if you want to be even if you wanted to talk about anything it doesn't have to be blindness if you uh, have any kind of issues in life we all have stuff we go through I've been through divorce um, I was abused as a kid physically um, I've been through a rough life I even have a uh, past believe it or not I have a secret clearance with the government I'm currently employed with the federal government as a IT guy for a company I won't mention I think I mentioned the name before but I, I won't promote that just because uh, they kind of frown on uh, giving away where you work but it's nothing against the law or anything but um, you know that being said with my secret clearance and where I work and I I'm a very um, respected member of society now I had a big past and I am not pushing religion on anybody but the only thing that changed me is I actually became a Christian and uh, that's where my life kind of ripped apart in a good way it changed me into who I am today but I was a bad person so being able to do something like this is just being able to look back where I was I don't know how long ago was it 15 17 years ago I was I was just a mess completely different it's just so weird to see I'm married I've got a great career and then I've got this YouTube channel which you know it really isn't a big accomplishment but to me it is so I'm having a lot of fun there's a I just shared a lot about myself but it's been a while so I want to share a little more and uh, you guys want to stick around go ahead and stick around and i'd love to have you click that subscribe button become part of the channel family i love you guys you guys are amazing i was very quote unquote honored <laughs> to do this giggity giggity and uh i will be honored to do many more lps for you so love you guys again you guys are awesome i love to take my time even though a lot of people cut out at this point but i love to take my time and tell you guys how i feel about you um because you mean a lot to me. Just even one subscriber, it, it means a lot. And to uh, see comments and people liking what I'm putting out, it's entertaining them in some way, shape, or form. That makes me feel really good. Even if it's one viewer, it make me feel really good. So we'll see what the future holds, guys. And I'll talk to you on the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and or donate. And until next time, as always, later.